posted this, you couldn't see as much of my desk, so it doesn't look as organized as usual. But this is just how I take care of my skin at home, and I wanted to share it with you estheticians. So I wouldn't recommend your clients try to do all of this at home, but I get a lot of questions about how my skin looks so good and I had stage 3, stage 4 acne and you got to do a lot of work on it, you know, to keep it in shape. I'm going to have my little assistant go get my facial cups out of the cabinet, those little clear cups, that's the only thing I didn't put out. So first we're going to do the peel and I'm going to try to get into view here and I have another camera going over here if I'm looking back and forth. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm going to show you my Sunday fun day where I haven't done all of my treatments in a little while because I've been healing and it's been so long. I've been healing from surgery um, and my belly button would not heal because it was having a little reaction to the internal stitches. So let's see, I can cleanse without gloves on. I have gloves here for the peel. So you'd actually cleanse at home and then I'm doing a creamy cleanser. It's also really hot up here. So fun to take care of your skin on a hot day. My skin just got washed a second ago in the shower so it's soaking up all my cleanser. So with Creamy Cleanser, this is the Sunflower Creamy Cleanser, okay? And this is our old label, it has a permanent label on it now. You apply it dry, then you dip your fingertips in water or run them under the faucet and massage again, okay? My daughter's actually here too to do the mask part because she loves going live. <laughs> Every time I go live, she wants to be on with me. So since we're at our home office, I'm going to let her come in and do the masks with me. Okay. So my little assistant, can you go in my medicine cabinet and get the little cups? There are the little clear cups in there. <laughs> I keep all my products in a little cabinet. And I have a tiny bit of squalane on my lips, so that's a really good thing to put on your clients during a facial. Okay, so we're actually going to do the cupping at the very end. We're going to do a peel, and then we're going to do the mask, and then the cupping, because the cupping, you can kind of do a penetration type of treatment when you're doing cupping. So you can put a serum on and then a little bit of an oil and you can do it. There's also a protocol where you can do it more in the middle of the facial during the massage part. But this is home. So now I didn't pick which peel I wanted. Let me see, I have them all here even though you can't see where I'm looking here. <laughs> I don't want the pumpkin. My skin's a little sensitive. I'm gonna do the mandelic. Mandelic's good in the months where there's a lot of sun. So I was gonna put my little gloves on, but I think I'm gonna be okay. I also have a little mirror in front of me. And during the cupping and some of these applications, I can't see myself very well. Uh, in the camera, so I'm going to have to look in my little mirror. So when you apply this to yourself or to a client, my peels don't need to stay on very long. This is just a tiny bottle of the Mandelic, okay? And I am live on YouTube, <laughs> woo! I haven't done that before at the same time as Facebook. <laughs> And I extracted something this morning. So you can see I still get little tiny things and you know what that is. 
in the summertime when people sweat, they're likely to get, you know, some little bits of action around there. So with your mandelic bottle, um, whoops, that just, some of that just plopped right in my water. You can pour the peel right out of the bottle. We're putting caps on them now and there's a reason for that. We had pumps on them and they're, they're so fermented that it just eats away the little pumps. So you just unscrew your cap and pour a little bit out. I actually prefer a fan brush, I just don't have one here at home. So I'm going to rinse my fingertips to neutralize what's on there. So you want to make sure with your peel on that you're only feeling a certain amount of sensation. Okay, so I have a scale of 1 to 10 that I talk to clients about. And you can layer your peel based on the sensation people are having. Cheeks are tough. And you know why cheeks are tough? And the chin. Have you noticed those function differently than the T-zone? And that's because cheeks don't get as much blood flow. And even when they do facial surgery, they'll tell you that this area is going to heal slower than the T-zone because the T-zone gets a lot more blood flow. I kind of find that the chin is a little slower than the nose and the forehead too. So I'm going to layer this on because I'm starting to lose my tingle. Now I'm really acclimated to these peels. So this is a 30% professional mandelic peel. If you're not an esthetician on YouTube, then you need to go to your professional to get this peel. But since I'm a professional, I get to do this to myself at home sometimes. And I like to treat the entire neck in decollete. So now I'm feeling it a little bit more. Here's the sensitive areas. The lip, the nasal labial folds, right up around the eyes. Sometimes if people have a really strong sensation going on with their peel, you need to wipe those areas first. And then in the low blood flow area, you need to leave the peel on a little longer. Or if they have scarring or something, you don't want to leave it on the areas that feel really sensitive a long time, okay? So if they're like a two or a three like I am right now out of 10, then you can leave the peel on, you know, anywhere from a couple minutes to five minutes, but five minutes is pretty long if some of you have used my peel. I'm gonna respond to all the comments, by the way, after my video, because I have two cameras going. This is a new thing. Uh, but I want these webinars recorded on my YouTube because people are having a really hard time finding them uh, on our Facebook group, unless it's a real private class, you know, that only estheticians can see. But I, as you all know, I have a lot of esthetician education videos on YouTube. So th these are four by fours with water on them. Ooh, okay. Here's something else important about peels. They might look a little flushed for a minute afterwards. That's normal if that happens. Um, my capillaries have gotten really strong over the years of using really good actives like vitamin C strengthens your capillary walls. I used to get flushed easily. I still do in the heat and then I would stay flushed a long time and when you strengthen the capillaries, they <clears throat> they actually, when they heat up and they get a little bit of warmth and redness going, they actually basically calm down faster because they're stronger, if that makes sense. And I'm wearing my funny little dress too in case I drip products or something. I tried to wear something that I could get dirty. So I'm still feeling some tingling, and this is important to ask your clients when you remove their peel. And I just got a question on YouTube asking where to get my products. You go to www.justiceskincare.com, and that's our store. And a lot of my estheticians and esthetician talk know that, but uh, this is new. I can see my other camera is a little closer to me. 
And I'm sorry, my YouTubers, I'm not looking at you as much as my other camera, so I will figure this out <laughs> as I keep doing these. I also may be filming live with some of these on Instagram, but I don't know how long the videos can be. So YouTube is where you can go if you can't find them in the group, okay? So that's my mandelic peel. You need to wipe twice on clients that are still tingling and then they'll tell you, oh, okay, it feels calm down now. Now a slight, slight residue of uh, a tingle is okay. And you know, major tingling, you don't want that going on, okay? So now we're gonna do the mask. That's okay, they're in the cabinet. My little assistant is trying to find my cups for me. So let's get the cups, look inside my cabinet, and it's those clear, those clear things. The one right there with the mirror on it. <laughs> Sorry, I've got my, my seven-year-old is my assistant, so she's worried. Up top, on the mirror cabinet. That one I open with my products in it. If she can't find it, I may have to step away for two seconds and grab it. So I'm gonna put my mask on and then I may go over there and help her because she's, she's worried. No, they're the clear, the things that are clear, those little tiny clear things, they're on the second shelf. You see them? Get all of those, all every single one of them. I should have brought those out myself. So this is the peptide repair mask. We're actually filling the four ounce tonight and putting it back in the store. So this is super soothing and hydrating after a peel. So this will be, you can put it right around the eyes and this has full strength peptides. So peptides are firming, they're, they help repair the skin and uh, they're actually good on real sensitive skins. Another plus is this is extremely easy to remove. So some of our masks are dark colored. Oh, thank you. So you want to come get your mask on? Uh -huh. So this is Piper. She's coming in here. <laughs> she loves watching me film. She's probably going to be a little skincare girl too. <laughs> So let's clean off your face a little bit. This will be a different mask. She likes the chocolate one because it smells like candy. There we go. You want to turn towards the camera? Mm -hmm. There we go. So I have another um, water bowl actually for her. So normally if this wasn't my daughter, you need to go wash your hands and do all of those things. But because this is my daughter, we are going for it here. Okay. There we go. And I have a separate bowl of water for her. And I have separate wipes for her. Yes, I do. That makes it a lot longer too. We actually we only have one little wipe left for you. So you're going to want to let your mask sit for about five to ten minutes. You can cover it with four by fours and let it sit longer if you would like. Uh, to do massage during a facial and that's not enough time but the masks are going to do their job after about five to ten minutes oops we need some of that so here is my peptide repair mask keep in mind everybody that these are launch labels when I launch something and we try to get the permanent labels within two to three months so estheticians, when you're cleaning those labels, they're not 100% waterproof, but they're pretty tough. Um, you'll just notice they might get a tiny bit streaked when you're cleaning them if you go right over them. 
come closer to me. Smells. It smells like cream, huh? It smells like um it's I it's um one of my favorite smells. Oh yeah? Yeah. This one is scent free, so you might smell a little bit of the olive or Wait, there's I'm trying to think what else. So this mask is safe on kids. Some of you give facials to, you know, do like little girls parties. <laughs> Piper's very animated. But she wasn't going to come on tonight and I told her she could because she loves doing this. Okay, so I can take my mask off now. I have to keep... Do you have to... Do you have to leave the mask on for a certain time? Yes, five to ten minutes. Do you have to take it off with those kind of wipes? No, you can take it off with a hot towel. Uh, you can take it off with facial sponges. Okay. I think Piper has really good questions. <laughs> Even have, when I have a bunch to ask the world and my mom and dad. Oh. Okay. So, next I'm going to do my cupping over my serum and my squalane that I'm going to apply on top of that. Okay. And Piper, you take your mask off. So this is her little wipe that we have here in her little water bowl. And what do you think? How does your skin feel? Spritz toner and put a little it squalene. It smells so good. Yeah, that's the tri tea toner. It smells like cucumbers. Can you come over here? Thank you. It smells like cucumbers and roses. I think it smells like the things to make your wrist smell good. Oh, it smells like perfume to you? Yeah. <laughs> Makes your wrist smell good? Uh -huh. Okay, now you're all ready. Okay, will you go sit where you were? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to clean my hands a little bit so that I can do cupping. <laughs> Thank you, Piper. You want to come say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye. <laughs> and this is another one on YouTube. I know that. Why do you have to leave this oily stuff? That's your moisturizer, so your skin doesn't feel really dry. Because what if it did? Okay. Uh, if it's if you don't moisturize your skin, then it then it'll dry out after you do treatments. Okay. Thank you. Something here on me. No, you. I got it. Okay. Thanks. All right, so it's my Sunday with my kids, and Piper really wanted to do that. So, we're gonna spritz with toner, use the peptide, and resveratrol. Sorry, that is really bright for you guys. There we go. And so you wanna put on about a pearl size. And then with the cups I like to cover I like to cover the serum with some kind of massage oil, which we usually use squalene or we use the 
oxygen elixir. Okay. And oops, I just sped through that. That is the squalane. Okay. Now we're going to do our, my little cups. I'm going to come back this way a little bit. So you can see some of the warmth in my face right now. And that's just from having a peel and a mask. And it's a pretty normal response. So the cups, I have given some to some of my estheticians, but um, usually I actually start down here because this is where the lymph drains. So I like to get this area moving. And everyone, since I did this the first time, has been watching videos on if you don't have enough slip to do the gliding lymph drainage step, then you need to put on a little more oil. Okay? So you can attach here after you... I do a couple types. And you want to do about three passes when you're doing this part. And some of the videos <laughs> that you guys have posted, someone was doing it at home, like pulling their whole face out to the side. That's not what you want to see, okay? And they're not going to be left with any marks, okay? So if you have someone that gets a little pinky like I do, don't worry about that. You need to tell them if it's not completely calm by the end of their facial, it will be within 20 or 30 minutes after. Whoop! <laughs> I'm throwing my cups. <laughs> so hang on your cups when you're working on clients, okay? Because they get kind of slippery after you put the oil on. See how I'm popping them off but I'm not stretching the skin away. You can let them sit a little longer but you don't have to. So I like to do both moves on each area before I completely move on. We all want this area to get firmer. So I do a lot of work here because this gets down to the muscle, actually. Someone just asked about the smaller cups. Those are coming up in a minute. So first you do your big cups. Then you do your little cups. So squeeze the cup a little bit to release them if they're suctioned on with a lot. Um, you actually want to hear the little pop, but you don't want to be too rough. You don't want to be stretching their skin, okay? And this may bring up a little blood into their capillaries again. Their skin will be 
baby soft after cupping. So you can't really get around the nose and the eyes without the little cups, okay? I like to pop them off upwards, okay? When you go downwards, it can kind of pull their skin that way, but it can still be done correctly. So I don't, I don't completely recommend teaching clients to do this at home because I've seen a lot of um, videos that worried me about people doing this at home where they take the little ones and they attach them to their really delicate skin around the eyes and then they're stretching their skin out. You can let them sit here for a second. You just don't want to let them sit anywhere too long. But even up to like 10 or 15 seconds and it's it's not going to leave a mark. Okay? You got to leave them on for a minute or two to leave those marks, which is not the idea on the face. Okay. And my little ones. Make sure you have enough product. Just a little more squalane. Now you do the little areas. So you can do their nose. If you suction the wand down here and let them sit for a second, sometimes they pull out some of the blackheads, but that's not really the idea of cupping. So you can hear these are much gentler. Now, the eyes. So the eyes, you don't want to pop them off of the eyes because it stretches the skin. You want to squeeze them on and squeeze them off, okay? That's how you make it ultra gentle on the eyes. So we're going to go around a couple times and do this method first, and then we're going to do the lymph drainage. If someone has allergies and that kind of thing, it feels really, really good in here because people get all clogged up in here. So we're going to really gently, and it's important not to use too much suction to do this, okay? So this is, and these are really gentle, these little ones, so you might find that they detach. <clears throat> I tried a lot of different sets before I found these. and. Um, not all of them work this way. <laughs> and this is really good for people with dark circles or who are puffy. Uh, this will fix those problems pretty quickly. You know, it also depends with dark circles what's going on. I used to have really dark circles because they were called allergy shiners. So I was allergic to soy and gluten and uh, I could not, basically my eyes looked like I hadn't had enough sleep and I had big purple dark circles all the time.
Okay. That's it. So you could apply a little bit more toner and put some moisturizer on. You can see that that drained out a lot of the little bit of redness that was left behind, but you can see my skin looks really good and it's very soft now. Okay? Yay! So the squalane is pretty hydrating for me and since I put the peptide underneath it, I'm probably going to be good for tonight. Um, the other new product that I have coming up is the peptide repair lotion, which I made for acne people. So it's full of peptides, but it's a really light lotion moisturizer that they can use. Okay, I will answer all of your comments as soon as I'm done, but I was going to do all of that tonight and decided to film it for you. Okay, have a great night.